Now, are you a Christian, sir? No. Why not? What happened? Yeah. Um, I took a deep dive into the Bible. Okay. And uh, when I started finding a lot of things about the Bible, uh, I fell away from it. I've been away from it for like five years. Okay. What was it in the Bible that caused um, you to turn away? Um, I'm all about like, data, facts, logic. Mm -hmm. I, when I started to find out learn stuff about the text, um, the book of Mark was written first, not the Luke. Largely copied from Mark. A lot of the letters of Paul are authentic. Seven out of the thirteen letters. Well, that's high, higher criticism has a bias yeah, against the I, scripture. But, yeah, Absolutely. I, 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 have I have a background in law enforcement. I went to a, I went to a school down in Virginia. Retired law enforcement for thirty-two years. And text is text, right? If you laid out. If I wrote 10 letters by hand on a certain mm -hmm. topic, then you wrote a letter on the same topic. And you mixed all those letters together. Someone with that background would say, Norman wrote, Nor or Robert didn't write one of these letters. Right? You can tell that by the style, and, and the language used, right? Sure. So that's what they did with the, with the pistols. It's clearly there was. Not at all. The textual criticism shows there's more there's more manuscripts of the New Testament, yeah, certainly the Old Testament, than there are of any other historical document. Right, but, right, if you, just copying, if they're, you, they're all from the third century. But if you, no, have, not at all. They don't no, have that the, that's an assumption you brought. They don't have the originals of any. No, but they have enough of the manuscripts that they could do it. I'm sorry. No, they claim work. I don't want to, guys. I'm look. In all seriousness, I appreciate what we do. I love that you appreciate it. Yeah. I just don't buy it anymore. Sure. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just here. What I can do now, one original, is actually for its benefit. Because I could change the original. If I have 1,500, 2,500 manuscripts, I can't change them. Right, but they know, like, the Gospel so of John. They, they know, they know, they can tell the Gospel of John is three different authors. That's not at all. That's a lot of Paul's letters. The JEPD theory, got, you got into higher criticism. They have a bias against the scripture. They're not looking factually. There's over 15, there's more evidence of the authenticity of the scripture than any other historical document. The scripture, what do you think? What do you think happens when you My, my, no, I think, I think religion comes up It says the scripture. Right, but you're saying that you're, I don't believe that that's a holy book. Right? You but what do you, 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 you say even if people don't believe in God, you don't know, no, 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 no. believe in Christ. No. Right. You believe in Jesus Christ. That's all right. I don't think you believe in Jesus Christ. I don't think you're going to hell for not believing in Jesus Christ. I think you'll go to hell because you sinned against God. Right, you but, have then, no way then, to pay but then you don't believe in God. The gospel is that you don't put your trust in Christ. You're stuck on the cross. You don't make it. But that's not why you're going to hell. You're going to hell because Re regardless. Of sin. But the, it, and but unless the muscles, Jesus pays for your sin, but the Muslims will say that you're right, right? And then that's Jesus will say you're right. right. But it doesn't make you right either. Yeah, the scriptures. Uh, Wait, but you're saying that <laughs> the scriptures are self-authenticating. What are your ultimate? So here's the question I have for you, and I want you to think about it. The you reason got, why I don't believe any of these religions is because there's always a part two, right? There's not Christianity. Yes, there is. Cognitive dissonance. Christ. Why didn't when Christ came the first time? Why didn't just believe fix everything? Because since it existed. God loves you, and He wanted to die for you. Since Jesus died, how many kids have gotten the king? But if they're in heaven, died of so, so you think the ultimate bad thing is death. I realize it's not. It's yeah, hell. but then these kids are in heaven. Yeah. Isn't it better to get aborted at, at nine months old than go right to heaven? We, we don't have the right that's to take what William, life. That's what William Lane Craig said. But we don't have the right to take the life. How many, how many kids have God killed in the foot? But it's not a bad thing if they're going to heaven. Then neither is this. Right. You just it's, defeat your whole argument no, about abortion. No, it's bad for people who support it murder Yeah, I don't, yeah. The, um, you're murdering if those are, did those aborted kids go to heaven? I believe all babies are going to heaven. Okay, so that doesn't give you the right to murder. I'm not murdering. Or support the murder. Like I said, I put my money where my mouth is. I adopted two kids. How many kids have you adopted? I have four children myself. Right, but did you adopt any kids? I had them my own. Right, but why not foster care? There's, there's thousands, millions of kids out there in phones. No, it's very difficult to adopt. They bore most of them, 100 million kids. I did it. I the, did it twice. the question I have for you is ultimate presuppositions. How do you account for logic and and ethics and all those things? You can't account for it in your 
What are you, a, a, a humanistic atheist? No, I, I, I don't. I think the reason the over time, and the Attorney General, we realize that we're better together, we're stronger together. But you're using reason. Where do you get reason from? How do you account for reason? I'm not a philosopher. I'm just saying we know. Not at all. They kind of put it all together. There's a lot of dying and rising gods. Oh, that that doesn't ma make it so that Christianity is based oh, upon right, the Egyptian. Right, around the time of the first and second century, all those Hellenistic influences all went into the Bible. And Paul, not at all. Paul, Paul, you don't know your time. That's not a true at all. If you look at the Bible, they are speaking against the gods. Look at look at Paul. Paul in in um, in Acts. What is it? Acts 15, where he goes to Mars Hill and argues with them. So far after the not at all. And they were not at all. Not at all. See, you, you've accepted you've accepted the presuppositions of the higher critics. The JEPD theory that that is absolutely based upon. That's Old Testament. I don't I don't follow the Old Testament. But what is your ultimate standard of truth? Then? I don't get it. I just live my life. I just live my life. I know, but someday you stand before God. I think everybody. I think all these religious groups, all these religions. Well, you're, that's your religion. It's not. I don't have Ultimately to, I don't speaking. I don't believe in anything. I don't pray to anything. I just live my life. I think when we die, that's But it. that's a belief. I think the reason but That's why a philo philosophical belief. belief. What but evidence do you have of that? I don't. And you don't have any evidence of oh, that. absolutely I do. No, you don't. Uh, absolutely. The self-authenticating scripture. Sure. But you're, you're claiming that that's a holy book. I yeah, don't. the book claims itself. It's an ultimate so presupposition. It, right, but so is it See, this is why William James Craig is wrong, because he does not hold to the self-authentication of an ultimate presupposition. <laughs> Think about it. I, I haven't talked about this stuff in so long. It's so funny. Huh? Presuppositionalism. Presuppositionalism. Right. I don't believe. I don't believe the New Testament. And neither do the Jews. But that's your presupposition. Ever listen to Tobia Singer? No. When you, when you meet here, we got time to look up Tobia Singer on YouTube. Okay. He, he's a he's a he's a Jew that is trying to stop like the Jews from Jesus movement. Okay. He's based on obviously he's based on Israel. But listen to what he says about the New Testament and how. Everything's an atom, right? Christianity is an atom. That's a presupposition, though. It's not. Absolutely it is. It's not. See, they, see, had to, see. they had to find a way to go on after the temple got destroyed, right? Just like Mormonism. Christianity is the Judaism, like Mormonism is the Christianity. It's just an it's just another atom. Absolutely not. Jesus said of the Old Testament, they sp all these scriptures speak of me. There's an internal consistency within the Bible but if, but if of a book. Say, let me finish. But, but, let me finish. A book that has been written by 40 different authors over 1,500 years, and there's such an internal consistency in that book. Not that you, of course there is. What's, where's a contradiction? Name one contradiction in the scripture. You're, you're putting you're putting presuppositions like I, like. I go by the the ultimate presupposition. Like I'm honest about my Isaiah, presuppositions. Isaiah 53 has nothing to do with Jesus. Of course, Christ. it does. Any rabbi will tell you. Of course, because the, the suffering, presupposition is the suffering servant is Israel. It's not Jesus Christ. Okay, it's and it says Jesus of the Christ. it says of the suffering servant that there is no guile in him. You can't tell me that Israel has not sinned before God. Why would God judge them so much? If you, do you believe in the Trinity? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so is Jesus Yahweh? Jesus Christ is Yahweh, yes. So Jesus drowned. How many kids were the flood supposed to be? God is the author of life. God is the author of life, and therefore God has the right to take life. But we as human beings don't. If, we don't. If God wanted to start over and get rid of the human race, couldn't he just have poofed the people out of existence? But see, you're Why did he have to drown? You're, you're assuming a moral standard, though. Why would you assume that that's a bad thing unless you have an internal moral standard? If your kid did something but here, wrong, hear what you're saying. But do you hear what you're saying? Why is that bad in an atheistic worldview? Or in an agnostic worldview? 
think about it. Because I don't need God to tell me that's something wrong. What, what, and where does that come from? Adolf Hitler didn't need God either, and he thought it was a good thing to kill the Jews. Right. Well, why you see, does that there's have to be the Christian maybe because there must be an objective standard to determine what's right and wrong. Maybe there's a God out there that has nothing to do. With he hasn't revealed himself. And, and the Bible says that this is the ultimate revelation of God himself. And the ultimate sin in Genesis chapter 3 was deciding for ourselves what's right and wrong. But you have a moral code and a moral standard. It's just based upon you. So in the end, you're your own God. And you have no way to account for truth, logic, reason, science, ethics, or anything else like that. You can't account for it. I can See, with my presupposition, I can. I would just say, I would just say, I can't believe in a God that drowns babies. So you think that's wrong to drown babies? Okay, based on, upon what objective standard? Okay, see that makes you your own God. Of course it is. You, you, wait, you just you no 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 that's your own standard. You just said my own. I didn't make that up. You said it yourself. So you are your own standard of right and wrong, which is Genesis chapter three. So you're being consistent with what the scripture says. See, why would you be so agitated? If we were talking about pink bunnies, you would be like, who cares? Because I think religion has done a lot of harm. It's done a lot of harm. Oh, are you kidding life. me? Government has killed more people than religion ever has. Stalin, Mao, Adolf Hitler, Pol Pot. These are all politicians. No, he wasn't. He wasn't a Christian. He wasn't a Christian. If Christianity is true, mm -hmm. it, which it is, then why are there thousands of nominations? What's that? Because of man's sin. We can explain that because of man's sin. My, my, because we can do a forensic study of the scriptures. You and I, wait, I am not. I am not part of a denomination. I used to be. I, I, I used to be. I used to be part of, of the United Methodist Church. I left it years ago. Right now, I have a home church. Because I think that the 501c3 corporate United States church is in sin. But that's what the Roman Catholic said. That, that, that. No, the Roman Catholic is a right, sovereign but everyone, nation. But everyone became their own pope, right? You're your own Not pope. at all. Not at all. You're running your own church. No, because I believe in sola scriptura. Because the ultimate God standard is not Norman Patterson, it's the Bible itself. So you just believe See, it's, the a, it's a consistent presupposition. Like a Dave, you know who Dave Hunt is? Uh, a little bit, yeah. No, I don't. I'm not a Dave Hunt. I, I've heard of Dave Hunt. But I get the point, because you like it. Um, yeah, I, I, I've, I've read I, some of Dave I, Hunt's I stuff. I used to be a hardcore fundamentalist Christian. I'm not a like, fundamentalist. I was all the way to the right. You could have cut my left arm off, I wouldn't care. That's mm. how far right I was. Read, read a woman, a woman writes the beast by Dave Hunt. You love it. Okay, I, I, I about, don't think so. It's all about, it's all about sola scriptura, all that stuff. About how the Catholic Church corrupted everything. You would enjoy it. So well, I certainly do believe the Roman Catholic, but how do we know what corruption is unless we have a standard of righteousness, which is the Bible? You see, you have the Bible says that you are suppressing the truth of God because of unrighteousness. You know what I'm saying is true. You're just resisting it because of your sin. No, Absolutely. I just, I just think everybody, um, I think at the end, what it comes down to is people are afraid to die. Yes. My girlfriend's got should stage, be. My girlfriend has stage two stomach cancer. I'm not afraid to die. And I can tell you, my brother over there, we're not afraid to die. If somebody comes up with a shotgun to me right now and says, deny Christ or die, I'll die. I'm not afraid to die at all. Okay. First Corinthians 15 says that he's taken away this thing of death. What if you're, what if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. There's, no abs there's absolutely no ability because I'm going to give you an ultimate proof of Christianity. But what if, but what if, you want to know what it is? But what are the Muslims are? Let, let me, they, they cannot be because their book self-contradicts book self -contradicts because the Quran says there's that no the Bible... There's no contradiction in the New Testament the, the, the Old Testament. The only ability to have a contradiction is with a God who is truth. If you don't have a God who is truth, contradictions what do you think are impossibility. Do you understand my point? Right, but what do you think do, about... You didn't understand my point. Because no, in me, for all it comes down to the text, like the book of Luke. Scholars think that the original book of Luke didn't have the nativity, the nativity scene. What's, what's, uh, biased, was, liberal, higher critic they scholars, the, scholars. They can tell by the text. No, they cannot. Yes, they can. You understand. I, I, I do. I've studied higher criticism right, and it's a bunch of BS. You understand if I wrote something and you wrote something. They can look at our past writings and tell who wrote what. And when you have 1,500 different manuscripts of the New Testament, you could see where the variations are, and you could then begin to piece together the right, original, the early, inerrant, and infallible text. Right, but in the earliest manuscripts, like some stuff wasn't there. Like like the story of, uh, you know, the, 
the woman. You know, oh yeah, the woman caught in adultery, John. Right. That wasn't yeah. in the earliest manuscripts. Yep. So I don't put a lot in, in of stock in that particular text. Right. And there's not a lot of theology per se, Trinitarian or any otherwise. Here's the irrefutable proof of Christianity, the impossibility of the contrary. If you assume there is no such thing as the God of the Bible, which is an, a self-authenticating document, you can't prove anything. Christianity is the foundation of proof itself. That's presuppositionalism. I had a great conversation. Yeah, I, it was really I good. I gotta get back. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I appreciate it. Take care it. of yourself, just be yeah, careful. Yeah, I will, I will. God bless you. Don't, Say, and never get physical with anybody. Oh, of course, of course. We're Christians. Okay. We fight with the sword of the spirit. And, sir, and I, I really enjoyed our conversation. Do you yeah, and anytime you want to talk more, I'll be glad to. Say your name again. Robert. Robert. I'll be praying for you, Robert. Because yes. the God of the universe, if he changes your heart from a heart of stone in Ezekiel 36, he'll give you a heart of flesh and you'll be like, yeah. If you are not a Christian, you were never a Christian. I've been waiting for the lightning bolt for five years. Yeah, well pray for it. Pray for it. Yeah, God bless you, Robert.